Hey there, awesome physics students. Let's talk about viscosity. Viscosity is a number that characterizes the amount of internal friction present when a fluid is flowing. And it depends on the properties, different properties of the fluid. So we can imagine, uh, you've seen this before probably, if you've looked at a river and you've noticed that the river is flowing a lot faster, the velocity of the actual water particles is bigger in the center and then near the edges, it's near the bank of the river, it's much slower. And this is due to viscosity. The way we think about this is we separate the fluid into layers and we imagine those layers sliding past each other. And then we can imagine that those layers are going to exert some frictional forces on each other that will cause the velocity at the edge to be much lower than the velocity at the center. Uh, for three-dimensional systems like pipes and uh, blood vessels and things, you're going to have a similar effect with the velocity profile, that is the velocity as a, as a function of distance or location. Uh, the velocity at the center, of course, will be much higher. The velocity near the edges, and of course this is three-dimensional, so it's all around the edges of the pipe or the blood vessel, will be much smaller. Um, and this is just a fact of uh, due to our model of the layers sliding past each other. We characterize the uh, number of viscosity with this Greek letter eta, which it looks like an N, but it's not. It's a uh, Greek letter eta. The higher the uh, viscosity, the more internal friction there will be. So fluids, this is a property of the fluid itself. So something like uh, motor oil, is, has a higher viscosity than something like water. Um, things like honey have a much higher viscosity, right? They, they're very difficult to get to flow. Um, the viscosity, finally, the viscosity will also generally depend on temperature for a fluid. So as you increase the temperature, the internal kinetic energy of the individual molecules will become larger and the intermolecular forces then become less important. And so the viscosity will decrease with higher temperature. This is why in general you, they recommend a different weight oil uh, for summer time with your car or hotter climates. Uh, and they generally recommend a lower viscosity oil or a thinner oil for colder climates or for winter time. Right? So the viscosity depends on temperature.